Hello, hello, hello everyone. It is such a beautiful day, a glorious time for us to talk today and have an empowerment session. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's doing well. It is such a beautiful day and I have a great subject that I want to speak to you guys about today is how to trust God's timing and I would love to share with you three different keys. So hello, hello, hello everyone. And I am so elated that you're here and you're able to join me today, okay? So thank you for being here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for um, engaging with me. Um, Aviana Jones, I'm giving you a shout out. You're the first person that I saw. So thank you, everyone. You know, I love EWAP. You're my family. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today. And I think you will find a lot of value in today's lesson. So we're going to go ahead and move forward. Um, and I hope every day had a Everyone had a great, great, great day. So hello, hello, hello. I am excited to be here with you today. I'm excited that you are here with me today. I hope that you can find value in this subject. I am happy to be here again with you. So your empowerment session, for your empowerment session, I am Ms. Lisa Noble, CEO and founder of Empowered Women of Faith and Purpose. And yes, I am a certified life coach. I am also a motivational speaker. And I'm excited to have this opportunity to become before you to share a little bit of my expertise. Therefore, let's jump right into some of the pre-session etiquettes that I love to share. Push the sign up button at the top of our page so that you can get um, my empowerment newsletters, which will, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, where you will receive life and business tips straight to your email. I do not tolerate spam, therefore my intentions are always to empower you through email and through our engagement through Facebook. I That's my favorite thing. Thank you for all the likes. I love it. I see it. Secondly, like and share this video as together we are, in create, we are creating an empowerment movement and someone does need to hear this. So, I want to do something a little different today. Go ahead and shout out your state if you're already here or your city so that on this Facebook Live so that I can shout you out or you know I will gauge with you after the Facebook Live. I'm just elated to meet people from all over the country, from California, Alabama. So, I will strive to give you this um, shout out and let's do this. So, your empowerment session for today is something so exciting. How to trust God's timing, and I'm going to give you three keys, okay? I see the love. Thank you, thank you. I see the love. God is too good for us not to trust his timing. It is within his timing that we learn how to trust the process and develop total dependency on him. Oh, no. We might not see it, see it this way when we're going through our tribulations or our struggles or our our uh, trials. However, how do you realize that it is time to just trust God's timing and stop doing it all by yourself? This is how you will know. You will feel as though you keep hitting a brick wall. You don't know where to go. I mean, nothing seems to be working out as planned, right? You put your trust in people or places or in things which with their, all the good intentions, they ultimately may sometimes let you down. You honor the system more than you honor God. We forget that God is the resource. He's the source and the resource. You have had, you may have had belief in people, places, or things because you laid God aside. You forget the relevance of who God is, who was, or has been in your life. How do you trust God's timing? Three keys is our subject today. Number one. We stop trusting God's timing based on past painful experiences which has given us the appearance of reasons to fear. It's given us the appearance of reason to worry and to doubt. At least that is what we tell ourselves, right? We can begin to reconnect to in trusting God's timing as we face our fears. We got to face our worries and we got to face our doubts by replacing them with faith hope and love. I know this sounds so easy to do to the stronger person of faith, right? However, people struggle daily with how to rely on Christ and allow Him to be our sole protector, our sole provider and keeper. We must remember, we live, we leave Christ. He doesn't leave us. 
According to Revelation 3.20, the Bible teaches, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come to him and I will sup with him and he with me. God searches for us, family. He is there. He loves us. He loves providing for us. We can learn to trust. Number two is we can learn to trust God's timing by admitting that we are helpless in a situation. We must admit that we cannot do, we can do anything else but wait on God's timing. How do you come to this conclusion? We find ourselves excuse me, depressed and emotionally drained or in a constant state of self-denial. God doesn't want that. We have unforgiveness issues. We give, we even may seem angry at times, which that is not always a bad thing. That's another subject. Furthermore, frustration is a great indicator that our spiritual compass needs readjusting. We may fight battles that only God can truly win. Some people may conclude that it is a bad thing that our weakness Weaknesses are exposed. Yes, maybe, maybe no, maybe yes. However, could it be that you are a living example of the goodness of God and a clear case of His grace and mercy? Trust His timing. Trust that His timing by reading His word. Repent to yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive others when necessary and move on. This is how we trust God's timing. And finally, number three, we learn to trust God's timing by admitting that God is the great I am. There is a difference between helplessness and lacking the ability to recognize that God is the leader of our lives, or at least he should be, right? I get sad when I think of all the times that I've wasted worrying about things that are totally and unexcusably out of my control. I am made free, and I feel better when I can admit my weaknesses. Yes, yet, I am empowered when I think about letting go and letting God, forgiving myself and forgiving others, and striving to move on is a means of trusting God's timing, family. And if I am not mistaken, let me stop for a moment just to give Candace Emery and a, a, a shout out because I believe she is the one who suggested this subject about God's timing. So I want to make sure that I threw that in there that she's the one who. So again, if you have a subject that you want me to talk about or expound upon, all you have to do is put it in the comment section or inbox me and I will get on it. Okay, now back to what I was talking about. Now see the difference is between helplessness is when you are unable to defend yourself. Powerlessness are being defenseless is how you know you're helpless. Knowing that God is the great I am is your role, your role to peace, joy, happiness, and appreciation. Know that God is the first and the last. He gives you strength. Know that God is the Alpha and Omega and that you should have confidence. This is the confidence that we have in Him that you will begin to find value in your life. Sure, some of your old ways will exist, and they will. However, I'm encouraging you to remember 1 Corinthians 13 team teaches us, but when, we, when the perfect has come, that which is in part shall be done away. What does this mean? When your completeness, your spiritual maturity, your spiritual wholeness in Christ has come, your brokenness will go away. Stop beating yourself up for making a mistake during the process and learn how to trust God's timing because His timing serves as the ultimate benefit towards our salvation. Finally, trusting, know that trusting God's timing is a process by understanding that we need to take things one day at a time will help you find your life purpose. So be patient with yourselves. Give up the need to want to fight the battle yourself and realize that by putting God first, there is no need to fight. Just stand still, set yourself, and see the salvation of God. Thank you for allowing me to share this information with you today. Remember, I believe it was Candace Emery. She's a great fan. She's, she's always here. She suggested God's timing. Again, you guys can do any, as long as it's an empowerment subject, I will allow five to ten minutes on that subject to share with the rest of the family. So inbox me or put it in the comment ses session. I will see you right here next time. And remember to sign up for my empowerment newsletters, 
where you will get empowerment to directly to your inbox, share this video. Because believe it or not, this video is not about us. It's about someone who truly needs to hear this video. Okay? I love you. I truly, truly do. I thank God for you every day. And please pray for me. And not only that, pray for our page. And pray for me as I continuously pray for you. God bless you. Thank you. And you guys have a great day.